What's up, what's up, gentlemen? Jeffrey here with you today. I've got some vital, vital information for you. If you're gonna come to Patia and become a pimp in paradise, I'm gonna give you a little bit of pregame, a little bit of preparation to get you ready for your trip so you hit the ground running when you get here in Patia. Now, this is for my guys who are um, first time in Patia or a refresher course for my Patia veteran guys. So first things first, guys, when you get into the bar, first thing I want you to do is take two girls. They're small, so take two of them. Why not? You'll have the time of your life. You will fulfill your fantasy. That's what you're here for, guys. You're on holiday. You want to enjoy yourself. Trust me, it'll uh, be well worth the small investment that you make in doing that. Also, it removes you from the uh, potential boyfriend list if you're gonna frequent that bar um, you don't want to get stuck with one girl in a bar you're here on holiday guys you want to bounce around you want to enjoy the last thing you want is to be uh, strings have strings attached on your holiday now another idea I want to throw at you guys is the concept of what we call the credit system now how the credit system works is these girls are very generous they're very sweet they're very loving girls and you may think that you're getting something for free or at a discounted rate, but guys, there's a tab that's being run this whole time. So what I'm gonna recommend to you guys, make sure you pay that small bill to avoid a bigger bill or a bigger problem later down the line. Remember guys, the sex is free. You're paying them to leave, okay? And um, when you guys are coming here on your, uh, on your trip, you know, you don't have to come, you don't have to show up with a six pack. Um, I say this because we're talking about paying for stuff. So some, sometimes when guys are paying for things, they uh, let themselves go. They don't uh, keep the hygiene up to par. You know, you don't want to show up to the bar stinky and smelly. You don't want to show up super out of shape. I mean, like I said, you don't have to show up with a six pack, but guys, do the best to kind of take care of yourself. The girls save face, they feel a little bit better, and you're gonna feel better too. You're gonna feel a little bit better about yourself as well. That's just a little side note just to, uh, just to keep in mind. I mean, you're paying, you're paying, but you don't wanna be a slob. You know what I mean? Um, which brings me to our next thing that you're gonna hear a lot about here in Patia, and that's the three-day rule. Now, for those who don't know, the three-day rule means you only see the same girl for three consecutive times or three days during your trip. Now, the reason for this is because it is said that after three days, emotions start getting involved, feelings start getting involved, people start becoming attached. And um, it goes from being that honeymoon stage of just fun and games to more of something serious and more of like a relationship that is not as fun. The last thing you want on your holiday is to have a bickering girlfriend. So um, I'm gonna update the three-day rule for 2023. We gotta do a software update because the world is moving at a high speed, high rate at this point in time. I'm gonna update it to the one-day rule. So only see the same girl one time, we keep it one and done. Friends with benefits, baby, come for fun. Yeah, how did I mean? So um, just to recap, guys, take two girls, the three-day rule, updated to the one-day rule, and don't forget about the credit system. Pay your bills, keep everything um, kosher, and you won't have any problems. Now, a lot of you guys ask me where to go, where are my favorite spots to go. Soy 6, of course, is always your go-to. Why? Because you've got I believe there's 80 something bars in one soy. So if you don't find what you're looking for at one place, you will find what you're looking, you're, you're looking for next door or the next door down. Also, everything's on site. So you don't even have to bring the girl back to your hotel room. They got rooms upstairs. Makes it very easy for all parties involved. Now, other spots I like, LK Metro. LK Metro has the same system. Um, 
I dig it over there as well. Now, if you want something a little bit different, if you want to head over to Walking Street, my favorite clubs on Walking Street are Ibar and 808. Ibar, you can usually meet somebody on the dance floor, work something out, get out of there. Same thing with 808. 808's got the hip hop feel. You probably do a little bit more dancing in there and then um, work out your deal as you see fit. Another thing before I forget, guys, you pick the girl. Don't let the girl pick you. You pick your friends. Don't let your friends pick you. Um, with that being said, take your time. Maybe have a drink, build a little bit of rapport. Don't just go in the bar, rush to get out. Spend a little bit of time with her and your experience will be much, much, much better. I heard a story of a girl charging, um, telling a guy that she was 5,000. Telling, telling a guy that she wanted 5,000. And um, my buddy had approached her after that and she told him 1,000. And he asked her, why did you tell me 1,000 and tell him 5,000? She said, oh, he just came up to me and said, how much? So she felt um, like a prostitute, right? Which, you know, these girls, these girls are out here supporting their families, guys. They're not really seeing it as just a prostitution thing, okay? So keep it respectful with everybody. Take your time. Um, these girls are very sweet. They will treat you very, they will treat you very good if you treat them very good. So come at them with respect and um, guarantee you will enjoy your holiday. Keep the drinking to a minimum. You know, we all struggle with that shit. I'm struggling with it myself. I'm trying to stay off of it. It's been in and out, but um, I digress. You know, it's not easy. This is a rock star city and um, temptation is everywhere. So try to keep it moderate, do your best, and uh, enjoy your trips, guys. Enjoy your trip. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And um, yeah, man, take two girls. Enjoy yourself. You're here to do it. You're here to live out the fantasy. You're here to live out the dream. And with that being said, guys, like we always do at this time, peace and love.